We have been the most successful species on this planet. 200 years ago, nobody could have imagined the kind of lives we're living today. The cities we've been able to construct, the technologies we've been able to create. And so we are asking ourselves, how will we be able to maintain the success in the future? Since the end of World War II, we have more than doubled in population and we're consuming far more per capita. Like in the last century alone, we are now consuming tenfold the energy of what we did just 100 years ago. And we are recognizing that the planet is getting awfully small. If we just compare, you know, how successful we have become as a species, we as a species, together with our cows and pigs, we are about 97% of the biomass of all vertebrate species, while only about 3% are wild species. So we have been able to dominate the whole ecosystem of the planet. Now, that may be a success, but its success also has its cost, that the planet is getting awfully small. So that's why we have developed the ecological footprint to start to measure how big are we compared to the biosphere? How can we actually use our ecological assets more effectively to live well on this planet? Now, the ecological footprint is a very simple tool. It's a tool like a bank statement that tells us, on the one hand, how many resources do we have that renew itself thanks to the biosphere that is powered by the sun, and how many do we use? And then we can see to what extent actually we are dipping into the overall capital or to what extent we are really living within the interest that nature provides us. If you want a real simple and effective model of how the economy operates, just take a cow because everything that enters the cow as food will leave again. Very similar to an economy, a cow also produces value added, the milk. The milk too, whether you consume it or not, becomes waste. So a farmer knows how much area, how much pasture, how much cropland, how big of a farm is necessary to maintain his or her cow herd. Now in the same way we can say how much area is necessary to support me or to support our cities, to support our economies, to support the world as a whole, all humanity, to maintain all the resources we consume and to absorb the waste. That's what the ecological footprint measures.